importance of microorganisms. First, I did who are the microorganisms. Mudi mangkata kere kau the microorganisms tak kian ikhila. Mami apa nanti daru ante udah waktu kita tamai, pada kira deh ni, dia satu iman ada kerja kira la. About microorganisms, who are they? Who are the unicellular microbes? Who are the multicellular microbes? I think we have to start the second unit today, second lesson. Effect of microbes on food. Mana mesti tamai kita kandar tien. Other. Effects of microbes on food. Mena meti dan tini serata yang nampi tu. Yang mana itu? Make it mulak kotas api kata kera. Oh, ikan ni. What is mean by spoil in food? Muka kita ahara narak pinawa ikan ni. Maka ada spoiling food kira kian ni, kaya menarik pinu kira kian ni. Change the physical and chemical nature of food due to microbial activities. Microbial activities means due to growth of microbes on food. Growth of microbes on food means growth of bacteria and the fungus on food. Bacteria and the fungus are the two microorganic groups contributing. Food spoiling. Ahara narak kerana microbes warga dekat samai bacteria fungus kena. Bacteria and the fungus. I told when that when they grow on our food, they secrete enzymes. Those enzymes are poisonous to us. Enzymes warga apa itu honda deh? Because those enzymes react with the nutrition in the food. आहार ऐसे ही ना पोषण द्रव्य तक का प्रतिक्रिया करना, making harmful substances, so we will get sick when we eat those spoiled food. So that is food spoiling, and you watch this, how food gets spoiled, especially how meat gets spoiled, how fruit gets spoiled with the time. काले तक को हम द कैमरा ना रख के निकलो वो लोग वीडियोस वो नहीं देख का then finally, I have given the changes occur in food when the food gets spoiled. Ahara narak viddi monoage venas kamda siddha vinne ahare kira. Both physical and chemical changes occur. Ekyanne rasayanika saha bhautike jeeran venas kam siddha vinno. Color, odor, taste, texture, appearance, those are physical changes pH value and the nutritional value of the food can be considered as chemical changes. Eva Pisalakani chemical changes with it. So both physical and chemical changes occur in the food. You wrote this. Mold means push. 
bacteria and the molds or bacteria and the fungus are the two microorganic groups responsible for spoiling spoiling okay මේ තියෙන්නේ පාන් කෑල්ලක පුස් බලන විදිහ මම මේක කියලා දුන්නා ලියන්න ලියු වෙනන්න නැහැ නෑ සමුද්‍ර ක්ලාසේ කියලා දෙන්නේ නැත්තේ මේ තමයි මයික් මේ පුස් වර්ග නැත්නම් මොල්ඩ්ස් කියන වර්ග බලන්න තියෙන ලේසිම ක්‍රමය මොකක්ද get a slice of bread ගන්න පාන් පෙත්තක් sprinkle water over it වතුර ටිකක් ගිහින් Then exposed to air for three days. That was too much to end it. Eli. That was too much. Eli, to end. You can see the black patches on the slice of bread. Do not eat. Those are poisonous. Who are they? They are the mucus fungus grow on. ब्रेड मैं तमाम म्यूक की ना फांगस से कर म्यूक फांगस टू सी इन डिटेल्स वैरी पूरा बाला गान ने एक स्मॉल पोशन ऑफ दैट ब्लैक पैच कीप इट अ ग्लास लाइट एंड ऑब्जर्व अंडर द लो पावर ऑफ लाइट माइक्रोस्कोप When you observe them in the microscope, you can see them like this. You can see the black head with fibers. Kalu pada ulu akti na kendi kendi wagiwa pe no. That fiber is the mycelium. Mycelium means the threads which absorb nutrients from bread. Egollo nutrients absorb karan ne pangoli ar mycelium making. මේ ඔලුව කොටස මොකක්ද? ඒකෙන් තමයි ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ සීඩ්ස් හදන්නේ. ස්පෝස් කියලා කියනවා අපි. ඉතින් තමයි ඒගොල්ලෝ බ්‍රීඩ් වෙන්නේ, බෝ වෙන්නේ. හරි? මේ ගැන වැඩිපුර අපිට ග්‍රේඩ් 9 ගියාම ඉගෙන ගන්න තියෙනවා. ඒ නිසා මම වැඩි ගොඩක් කියන්නේ නැහැ ග්‍රේඩ් 9 දමින්ට. ඔය මියුක කියන එක නම් මෙන්න මේ වගේ. ड्रोबिन म्यूक fungus pus spores produce in this black head make a hadena bunchi bunchi spores kiyana nikan seeds wage dewa they disperse patireno the thread part is called mycelium me kodas kiyane mycelium kiyala which helps to absorb nutrition this is what you see under the light microscope In slides of bread. Okay, you can draw it later. First, you have to copy down this experiment. 
ඉස්සන මේ එක්ස්පරිමන්ට් එක ලියන්න මේක එනවා එක්සෑම්ස් වලට ලියන්න හැමදාම රයිට් රයිට් ද ස්ලයිස් ඔෆ් බ්‍රෙඩ් ද මැටීරියල්ස් රිකවයර්ඩ් ද මෙතඩ් ඇ හැව් එක්ස්ප්ලේන් ද මෙතඩ් රයිට් ද එන්ටයර් මෙතඩ් සම්පූර්ණ මෙතඩ් එක ලියන්න දෙන් ඇයි විල් ගිව් ද ඩයග්‍රෑම්ස් do not draw those diagrams i'll give them i'll give simple diagrams අද ක්ලාස් එක ටිකක් ස්ටාර්ට් කරන වෙලා ගියා සර්ට එන්න වෙලා ගියා. කලින් ක්ලාස් එක ඉවර වෙද්දි ටිකක් ප්‍රමාද වුණා. ඒ නිසා ට්‍රැෆික් එකට ආ වුණා. කවුද මේ අකිත බණ්ඩාර පොතා ඉන්න හොඳ ක්ලාස් එකේ? හා
Oh, can't remember. Okay, have you finished writing? Did you write the method? Did you write the method? Yes, sir. What about the physical students? Have you finished writing? No. So they are still writing. Did you receive marks for science? Huh? Are you got the marks? Yes. 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 Who got a uh, hundred out of hundred?
64 without practicals. Do you have practicals with you? Huh? You have practicals? Do you? This is how you see mucca grow on bread. Etama world na pain a video. Here's a slice of bread. When you enlarge, you can see them like. Oh. वर्धन म्यूका Those are the eggs of them. Meri nungi bhi tar. Me pahalati na me netek wagi me fibrous or dikhe na mycelium me kya? Mukad me ham me aroy ka kya dalati ni me chal? Ekin kya ne? Me ne me punchi kodasa enlarge karla balla di. Ekda me pain bhi diye. Enlarge through the compound microscope. ओके
So have you finished drawing? Online children, have you finished drawing? Fungus grow on slice of bread. Right. right. Enough. Enough. What is this what video which shows the mucus grow on food? Observe the bread mold fungus in the laboratory. You can grow and observe the bread mold fungus in the laboratory. To do so, obtain a piece of damp, stale bread and leave it exposed to the atmosphere for a few days. You will notice a furry growth appearing on the bread. Leaving the bread exposed to the atmosphere increased the likelihood of fungal spores from the air settling on the bread and growing on it. Let's have a closer look at this fungus. Transfer a small bit of the growth onto a microscope slide and observe. Mucor is a multicellular fungus. The fungus is organized into mycelia, which is made from thread-like structures called hyphae. Most hyphae contain many nuclei and are said to be multinucleated. Some fungi are pathogens. For example, the fungal infection which causes the condition at Leeds foot. The products of other fungi, such as penicillium, are used for the production of antibiotics like penicillin to treat bacterial diseases. Okay. Observe the bread mold fungus in the laboratory. Another activity. Last week I told that uh, there will be few activities throughout this unit. One is done. Here the second one. No, no, the second one, the third one. The first one done with coconut water. Second one, uh, the fungus grow on fungus grow on the 
size of bread. And this is very important one, third one. Listen carefully. We are going to observe the action of yeast on sugar. Yeast is a fungus, unicellular fungus. Here. Yeah. Look at yeast. You can buy them from a shop. Grocery. Grocery king and Pulwang, yeast. They like sugar. They grow on sugar. Unghari asai si So first you have to make sugar yeast mixture. For that, two teaspoons of sugar mix with one teaspoon of yeast. Cutting up the yeast, they have to mix it with a sini, they have to make it Now you have sugar and yeast mixture. When you keep it for 20 minutes, we need to visit the booth. What can you observe? You can see the mixture enlarges. When the mixture enlarges, we call it as pahenor, permanent. Mixture pahenor, pimbila, and outed. Make it a speed up karaganang, hot water at karandon. Kocharad, 200 ml. Do not add cold water, add hot water. Hot water plus sugar plus yeast. After 20 minutes, you can get the dough. Dough kila kya ne pang handar ne ganda mix shake la beno. Meni kya ne dough eka kya. Pim bila eno. You can fill the mixture into a glass bottle. Me mix shake ka me wage vidur bota lote puru ane pulwa. The glass bottle, the mouth of the glass bottle, fix with a balloon. After filling, you can see the balloon get enlarged. When the balloon is cut, you know, and the pungent smell or odor is given out. What is saragati? Then I later. I'm talking about the observations after twenty minutes after filling to the bottle. Yeah, record your observations after twenty minutes. One of the observation is. The balloon in the mouth of the bottle enlarges. We call it as inflate. The other one is the odor. What is the reason for enlarging the balloon? Why odor? Is given out a gandak sarak deuni. I gave two observations. Give me the conclusions for them. What are the reasons then? Hey, to then. Online children, this is open for you. Can you tell me the reason for inflation of the balloon as well as that odor, that smell? Yeast act on sugar mixture. Yeast ke neka sugar mix ke act no. It releases carbon dioxide gas. That's why. The mixture is enlarged. That's why the balloon is filled. Because it is filled with carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide released by the yeast. Reason for the pungent smell or a sarah smell like a hetu? Alcohol produced. During this reaction, during this chemical reaction, may rasanya pratikriya vedi. Ethyl alcohol is produced. Ethyl alcohol. No need to tell the smell of ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol is smell like ganama kia no nani. Tata drink a karangidata in a smell like a tamaini. 
ethyl alcohol well as main liquor all because of yeast in sugar solution that is how yeast act on sugar me matama yeast act karan this entire process is called fermentation me gade kiyana fermentation kiyala mokada kiyanne ahenne hai kiyanne fermentation fermentation kiyanne pasima pahena kiyanne pahena nisa thamai meka pimbila inne mix eka this mixture is used in bakery industry to make bread and other short yeast me thamai api paan khandanna ganna mix eka ogolo dakala nathu eti paan gidiyak khandanna ganna mix eka bohoma punchi mena mechcha kithar haba yokata yeast dala ribbahama meka pim bila enawa paan gidiyaka size ekata oge dase api avanne ki danna thepe उटून balloon nege ka tuna ayi understood very important activity hamma dama exams walata hana vidhi activity ekak hari inama dana ganna ona right api meka record karagamu muli namma i'll give it mam menama ennam mage teka liyemu activity action of yeast on sugar action of yeast on sugar method method dissolve two hundred milliliters of sugar in hot water and One teaspoon of one teaspoon of yeast sorry 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 to one minute of uh, Sorry, sugar in two hundred milliliters of water. Two hundred milliliters dissolve the. Let me see. Dissolve sugar in two hundred milliliters of hot water. 
Não, cara. Into the mixture. Leave twenty minutes and observe. Twenty minutes and observe. We not be sick in balance. Leave twenty minutes and observe. Pau, pau que é nem vacra, né? The mixture into a glass bottle Fixing a balloon in its mouth. Fixing a balloon in its mouth. Cut at a balloon, Nika Kaikar Latina. And observe. Then the diagrams. The glass bottle before pouring the mixture. After pouring it, Before and after glass bottle. Balloon mixture yeast, sugar, and water. And I will write the observations.
Okay, then the observations and conclusions. Look at the observations. When sugar and yeast are mixed in a solution, it will be bubble, bubble synomic shaking, becomes warm, 
Pratenoa, smell odor of alcohol. The balloon has inflated. Inflated kya ne? Balloon ne ka pimbe no. Inflated. Conclusion ne ka rahe tuwa. Ethyl alcohol is produced due to activity of yeast on sugar. The gas produced during this reaction is carbon dioxide. Have in a gas a carbon dioxide. So that gas collected in the balloon. That's why the balloon inflates. This gas. Collected in the balloon. Emotlian. Collected in the balloon. Don't write this word fermentation. Anyhow, this process is called fermentation. Kumari make reality kya ne fermentation tamai. Fermentation.
Have you finished writing? Yes. On a children? Yes. What about you? Finished. Finished. Yes. So that is another activity, important activity to show that yeast act on yeast act on sugar solution. You can see the mixture rice mixture rice can a mixture cake apart the pimbila you know with bubbles it's called duff duff you know pang hadana katti dan no pam bani sagi hadana hai dan no make a gather the unat oka balagan to pull on you pull at I will write another observation here. Mixture rises. You may write too. Mixture rises can a mixture ka vishal the vino ekadila na hai tanama. Mixture rises. Why did the mixture rise? I mixture ka vishal vinne? Because of carbon dioxide. Because of carbon dioxide releasing from the mixture. Finished. finished yes yes girls what about you have you finished writing this gas is collected in the balloon kathin eh Look at this dough in baker industry, used in baker industry. Yeast is the main, a key ingredient in bakery products. Bakery is the main bakery products are yeast. So, you want to add here, bakery products are made of yeast. Those 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 are made of yeast. कैंटीन सोलो दिन हुए पीटे जाते कापू हम बड़ा पिंबी लाइन नहीं है तो है यीस्ट यीस्ट पैरी पर कांड होना नहीं है तो ले फर्मेंटेड पहन हो बड़ा है तो ले जो ले बड़ा पिंबी में हो आई क्यों होना नहीं है देन व्हाट हैपन तू दैट एथिल अल्कोहल देन इफ द एथिल अल्कोहल इज गिवन आउट देन इज ना इतिल अल्कोहल की वो हम अभी तो मताक्त भी नहीं लिखा नहीं सामाने लिखा भी वो हम वेरी बेन वहाँ की नहीं ये तो देखना कि ना मैं बेकरी प्रोडक्ट्स का आपको हम वेरी बेन नहीं पाए नो 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 डेट इतिल अल्कोहल इज़ इवा परेटेड ए है देन इतिल अल्कोहल वाश पहला है दे वांट रिमेन हियर ये वो इतनी इतनो भी नहीं है कि हम वाश पे लाएँ ना चलाएँ मैं क्या मात्रा दिया करना है मैं कहूँ तो मैं कहाँ डरेगा नहीं तो वीडियोस देखा क्यों नहीं थी मिथुला टुडे ऑन साइड गाइस फर्मेंटिंग यीस्ट एंड शुगर
Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Teresa. And today we're looking at fermentation with sugar and yeast. We'll be producing gas, and it won't be me this time. This is a viewer requested episode. Thank you to this viewer for recommending this episode. Fermentation is a chemical breakdown of substances by bacteria, yeast, or other microorganisms, usually involving the production of gases and heat. The equipment and ingredients you're going to need for this episode includes multiple bottles, they can be glass or plastic, sugar, yeast, balloons, a funnel, measuring utensils, and warm water. We're not working with anything hazardous in this episode, but we still recommend gloves, goggles, and an apron or lab coat to protect from spills and splashes. The first step in our experiment is to add all your ingredients into the bottles. Using a funnel, add one package or two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. Now we're going to add the sugar. In the first bottle we're not going to add any sugar. In the second bottle we're going to add one teaspoon. In the third bottle, two teaspoons. In the fourth bottle, three teaspoons. With all your dry ingredients in the bottles, Add one cup of warm water into each bottle. Four bottles with different amount of sugar. With all the ingredients in your bottle, cover your bottle with your thumb or put the lid back on and give it a gentle mix. With all the ingredients in the bottle, put one balloon on each bottle spout and leave them somewhere warm to sit for an hour. Over the next hour or two, the balloons will gradually grow in size. After a few hours, you'll notice the balloon that was covering the bottle that had the most sugar in it grew to a larger size. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. Yeast is a fungus, and there are about 160 known species of yeast. Yeast is very small. One gram holds around 25 million cells, and has been used for thousands of years to help bread rise. But how does a fungus help bread rise? It has to do with what yeast eats, how they metabolize that food, and what waste products are released. Yeast feeds on sugars and starches. When the yeast consumes the sugar in our bottle, it breaks it down to be used as energy. But like all living beings, waste products are produced when metabolizing food. When the yeast metabolizes the sugar, the waste produced is carbon dioxide gas and ethanol. The carbon dioxide gas floats out of the liquid into the bottle, producing bubbles, and eventually floating up into the balloon. As the yeast consumes more sugar and produces more carbon dioxide, the pressure inside the bottle and balloon increases. This is how the balloon this pressure inflates pressure by carbon dioxide. on the walls of the balloon, causing it to expand and grow. The equation for this reaction looks like this. The reactant sugar, sucrose, is on the left, and the products, ethanol and carbon dioxide, are on the right. The bottles with greater amounts of sugar have more food for the yeast to consume, which results in larger amounts of carbon dioxide produced and a larger balloon on the top of the bottle. That's it for fermentation. Thanks for watching. If you right. Factors affecting the growth of microorganisms. What are the suitable factors required by microbes for grow on the food? There are two main factors, even though there are five factors given here. Four main factors, two main factors. They are the moisture and temperature. May I get the main factors in it? Main two factors. What are the main two factors? Moisture, tetamane, and temperature. What is the most suitable temperature? They like warm conditions. Microbial activities increase in warm conditions. The best temperature is above room temperature. Slightly above room temperature. Can a calm ocean up to the very product very window? Maybe 40 degrees Celsius. But your book says that it is 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. It is around, uh, it should be around uh, actually 40 degrees Celsius. Apart from main two factors, Pradhana Sadhaka Garin. They need air. Air means oxygen. They need oxygen. They need a substrate. Substrate can give up the nutrition zone. And they like different pH value. Different microbes like different pH value. Okay, can I pH value with us? Main two factors are moisture and temperature. 
what are they factors affecting the growth of microbes not only fungus but also bacteria ogolo api hamoma me inne kurunaygala district ne godak hai me hari wedima temperature ekak thiyenne kurunaygala neda e kiyanne pahuge dawasala e ehema man dekka 36 degree celsius tibba dawala nearly 40 yanawa ada itak thediya sarai etakota me wage sara me wage temperature wedi weddi ඔගොල්ලෝ ස්කූල් අරයි යන කෑම නරක් වෙන්න පුළුවන් ඉක්මනට අම්ම උදේ පාන්දර උයන කෑම එක හරියට වෙලාවට කෑම නැත්තා ඉක්මනට නරක් වෙන්න පුළුවන් මයික්‍රෝබ්ස් එක කැමතියි නේ වෝම් අප් කන්ඩිෂන් හැබැයි ඔගොල්ලෝ නුවරඑළිය දිහා ට්‍රිප් එකක් යනකොට අරයි යන කෑම එක නරක් වෙන්නේ නැහැ සීතලට ඒකෙන් ෆ්‍රිජ් එකේ දාන්න නේද ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ ඇක්ෂන් එක අඩු වෙනවා ස්කූල් ගේන එක ඉක්මනට නරක් වෙනවා ऐसा हरी वेला वाटा क्या में गन दो अपराध नहीं था। Can you write the factors and uh, highlight the main factors, main two factors? एक मंगल रन, एक मंगल रन। You you three are very slow, huh? very slow। इस तरह का बिलाइंग देखना हरी में slow, एक मंगल रन नोन। Oh Okay, right. He's smelling the milk. The milk get uh, spoiled. Milk has high sugar and high carbohydrate. What is the name given for spoiling or microbial activity on carbohydrate food, sugar food? Fermentation. Yes, that is called fermentation. 
the microbial activity on food rich with sugar or carbohydrate is called fermentation ogolan gedet again bread wage dewal sugar carbohydrate tiyena ona mekak narak wenawata kiyanne fermentation kiyana isellat man e wachane kiwa neda etan dibbet sugar neda ekai how do you know that carbohydrate food is spoiled common than nick spoiled in it kela when you touch you feel sticky alena gatiyak keno paan mage deyak narak puna ma sticky aleno ni that is fermentation during fermentation you know what produce mono de hadenni carbon dioxide gas and ethyl alcohol metin de hadenni oy dena thama what is the name given for the microbial activity on microbial activity on protein food protein like meat fish milk egg me wage protein wedi protein kema narak kunaha it is called putrefaction ekata kiyanne bothe putrefaction kiyala mokadda kiyanne hayin kiyanne hamoma putrefaction odor gases releases during putrefaction පාන් නරක් වුණාම ගෙනෙමේ මාළු කුණුනොත් එහෙම ඉන්න බෑ ගඳේ මස් මාළු කුණුනහම හරි ගඳයි බ්‍රෙඩ් සොලට වැඩිය නේද ඒකට හේතුව තමයි මේ පියුට්‍රෆැක්ෂන් එකෙන් ඔය ඔඩර් ගෑසස් රිලීස් වෙනවා what is the name given for the microbial activity on lipid food lipid food තියෙන ඔය ගෙදෙට්ට ගේන වඩේ පොල් තෙල් නම් මන නරක් වුණාම we call it as what api eka namak kiyenawa rancidity kiyala kiyenawa what is it rancid in singhala we call mudu wenawa tel mudu wela mudu gandak kiyenawa dodol kyallak wuna parana wuna ma mehema smell kala wala mudu gandak kiyenawa rancidity so there are three different ways how microbes spoil carbohydrate protein and lipid food lipid food is rancidity carbohydrate food is fermentation protein food putrefaction putrefaction understood that's right dim microbial activity ah me kale ka hariyanne microbial activity depends on microbial activity depends on different types of food different types of food first on microbial activity on food i in sugar or carbohydrate is called fermentation actually it is called alcoholic fermentation haritama kiyuwoth okata kiyanne alcoholic ferment hadenne alcohol ne second one microbial activities on 
on food high in proteins is called putrefaction putrefaction third one microbial activity on lipid food is called rancidity rancidity three different names three different processes fermentation putrefaction and rancidity Okay, finish writing. So now we have finished the second lesson of this unit two. Last week we did about microorganisms. Today we did the effect of microbes on food. Then we come to the last lesson of this topic. What is it? Effect of microbes on humans and their activities. May pardon me, you got a certain only. Hmm. Effect of microbes on human and their activities. As I told you, microorganisms have many beneficial effects and few non-beneficial effects. They are so friendly with us. They help in various ways and only few unfavorable effects let's talk about the beneficial effects of microbe first mulimma unge vaasi devalla api katha karamu 
You know, children, microbes are very useful in various industries. We with the karma and thought of microbes are only known. Just before I mention about yeast, yeast is a fungus, unicellular, which is used in bakery industry. Bakery industry is a fungus on my. Not only that, there are useful bacteria like uh, Streptococcus, Bulgaricus, they are in yogurts. You know that. Not only yogurts, in any milk products. Yogurt, butter, cheese, curd, all are known as dairy products or milk products. You know, kiriya harakya. Useful bacteria in them. You know, useful bacteria or monkey was streptococcus vagayaya. Curd, yogurt, cheese. For baker industry, yeast is used. Not only that, some fungus and few bacteria give us antibiotics. They give us antibiotics. What is antibiotic? Antibiotic is a drug which can be used to control harmful microbe. It is also extracted from one, one of the microbes can be used against the harmful microbes. Antibiotics can be bona tablets. Amoxaline, penicillin, bono. penicillin bona antibiotics. Antibiotics. One of doctor can antibiotics antibiotics allergic to the Antibiotics can even have a gun. They put a good kill out of fungus. Lagi. Eva then it thought harmful bacteria. Wagi cut. Then on the without antibiotic, we can't live. A bit of jiva then the antibiotics. Not to let a head in. So many microbial infections may cause. Not only that, microbes produce some vaccines. Corona vaccine is gained from microbes. Rabies vaccine obtained from micro viruses. Polio vaccine. Dengue no vaccine. Vaccine is not a vaccine. It 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 is not a Mums, Kambul guy, is there a memory key with the young lady? Kirani, me want a vaccine tip, bene, Hadunahama, I think, on the Nakang Indo, thank him, eh? Then Kalima vaccine, Nagan, no, get the rekin Hadun, and it taken under Hadine. Eva Kumangan, eh? Microbes like him, Matamai. Megan Vedipur, Ulu Yanagana, great nine, no leka, Mamma Mehemakiane, Atherome, Manku, me pardon, Dekamekawagi, great nine, grade eight, where the cake to Karanang Hari. Tau bohma chutta kithrai vadi puri gina kani grade nine dollar. Grade nine dollar eva kya na thi ani sa apni grade eight dollar control la thama ugan na ne pramani. Na tang gorak daru asa ve na mod samharan te teri na tuyano. Eka ek grade nine dollar dalati vadi pura. E microbes lagi nam ehma grade eight dollar dalave ne hai. Grade eight nine dollar te kya me nam awashya. Then all. Do you know the first antibiotic in the world? Who in who discovered the first antibiotic? Do you know that? First and panadol killer kyan antibiotic name is a pain killer. Panadol name is a paracetamol. Manghani la loki palavini antibiotic killer than no the killer wolu. Do you know that? Penis. Penicillin. 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 It is again from one of the fungus discovered by scientist named Alexander Alexander Fleming, who got the Nobel Prize for his invention. He had taken Nobel Prize Second World War ke they only look at the soldiers from millions Ghana ke a bear got the me antibody kikanisa. Like I had a Nobel Prize. Right, anyhow, 
Do you know, children, vinegar, vinegar can vinakiri is also made by one of the also made by one of the microbe called acetobacter. Acetobacter can a microbe in Tamabute vinegar vinakiri hadan. Ethyl alcohol also produced by yeast. Alcohol, wine, beer, whiskey, brandy, okum hadan net. Yeast kene kena. Last week I told that there is a visible microbe. I had a pain a microbe kene kena. We use as food supplementary of protein. Protein vedi pura ahara kira began namukadde. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are fungus. So it is used as food. Everybody knows that bacteria and the fungi, they depend on dead bodies of animals and the plants. They convert dead bodies into compost. So compost making is also done by microbes. Compost other. Not only that, biogas is also made by bacteria. Biogas plants. For biogas, uh, domestic waste used. Straw, pidurugan no. Kaudan, goma, evage devaluning, biogas adagan. Biogas used to make electricity and uh, also used to use for cooking. What is this last one? Koya industry. What is koya industry? Kohu karmante. Kohendagan ne koya. Kaya fibers are obtained from, mainly obtained from coconut husk. Vedipurama ganne polle liwali. Coconut husk are made by cellulose fibers. Eva hajjati ni cellulose kina fibers only. Cellulose fibers are very hard, very strong. But those fibers are bound each other by a certain glue. May fibers gum make a king ekite ali lati, neki neki ali lati. Microbes can eat that glue, but they can't eat cellulose fibers. Untara gum make a kanda pulwang hai fibers kanda bay. Then the coconut husk are soaked in water for nearly nine months. Masa namayak hayak wagi kalayak soak in water kya ne vatu re pal kar lati no. Then the bacteria grow on them and eat the soft part of the coconut husk remain in the cellulose fibers. Ungara polle liti na kanna pulwan soft part okkuma kala cellulose fibers tiki dhru karno. Eva tama khoya products orta ganne khala karla ganno kendi. Khoya robes, brooms, ornamental items, carpets, eva okkum hadanne, brushes, eva okkum hadanne, khoya fibers sorry. Bacteria. Toda walata pe na vadipurama udhavvenne bacteria kya. Neda? Vedipurama, a bit of industry sort of gun, back to the make it no key with the world good art, you know. A billiaga muki back there and the beneficial effects of microorganisms. Beneficial effects of microorganisms. Beneficial effects of microorganisms. Wasi. There are beneficial effects. Okay. Brought the weather. Shall we write one by one? Microbes used in various industries
various industries. Examples. Number one. Making milk products. Milk products such as curd, curd can kiri, me kiri, uh, yogurt, and cheese. So bacteria is used for that. How the gun nikir manliwa bacteria thama gun. Ego lang in ng grade nine gi ham ingin ngat tehki. Ekin ek thama streptococcus thermophilus ki ni. Kena ni tehki na micrococus sorry. Ani tehki na ni kya ni bulgaricus. Enam dem mo onne ha grade eight tola. Number two. Microbes used in bakery products. Bakery products. Yeast is used for that. It's a fungus. Vinegar production, vinakiri. Vinegar production and alcoholic production. Alcoholic production. Vinegar and alcohol. Fourth one. Mada madakkala din one by one maisala keep products mo na industries mo na di kila. In the medical field, ay di kila ligi mo ngayon ng koi industry. Kendi karma ante bacteria used. Tawo? Tawo na ade. Making vaccines. Making antibiotics. Vaccine is one thing, antibiotic is another thing. In making antibiotics. Sorry? Huh? Biogas. Making biogas. Compost industry. Compost production. How on the QA? Vaccines, milk products, baker industry, vinegar, vinegar, alcohol, uh, mushrooms used as food. Mushroom used as a food, as a protein rich food. Okay, it's a protein supplementary. Rich food. So many uses that they use in many industries.
in grade 9 you will learn that microbes can be used as uh, bio fertilizers and bio pesticides bio fertilizers kiyanne pohora lese yoda ganna puluwa especially nitrogen fixing bacteria the bacteria who lives in the leguminous plants root nodules can remember rhizobium rhizobium kela bacteria wak hitiya root nodules wala leguminous plants wala ranilla kule boga wala anne ungen hadana pohora that fertilizer is rich with nitrogen if fertilizer ke nitrogen medi that can a bio fertilizers kela on the other hand certain bacteria the bacteria like alternaria it's a fungus fungus can in the alternaria kela is effectively used to control weeds like salvinia grow on water bodies වතුරේ හැදෙනවා සල්වීනියා කියලා වීඩ් එකක් වල් පැලයක් මුළු වෝටර් බොඩි එකම කවර් කරන ඔය වැවෝල් එහෙම හැදෙන්නේ එයාව කන්ට්‍රෝල් කරන්න ඔල්ටනේරියා කියලා ෆන්ගස් එකක් ගන්න පෞගිකාලේ ඇහුවද ඩෙංගු කන්ට්‍රෝල් කරන්න මේ BTI කියලා බැක්ටීරියාවක් යූස් කරා ඊළඟට කොකනට් බ්ලැක් බීටල් කොකනට් ඒ කියන්නේ පොල් කුරුමිනියව විනාශ කරන්න විනාශ කරන්න වෙනම මයික්‍රෝබ් කෙනෙක්ව ගත්තා. ඔයාලට කියන්නේ පුතේ බයලොජිකල් පෙස් කන්ට්‍රෝල් මෙතඩ්ස් කියලා. බයලොජිකල් පෙස් කන්ට්‍රෝල් කියන්නේ මයික්‍රෝබ්ස් ලගින් පෙස්ට් ලව පලිබෝධකයෝ විනාශ කරන්න පුළුවන්. ඒ වගේ තව ගොඩක් දේවල් තියෙනවා. මම ඒ ටිකත් මෙතන ලියන්නම්. ඒ ගැන වැඩි විස්තර ග්‍රේඩ් 9 ගියාම කතා කරන්න. නම්බර් 10. to make bio fertilizers bio fertilizers pohorawar taweka to make bio pesticides bio pesticides are not harm to the environment very good eco friendly not like chemical fertilizers bio pesticides lian nat the samahar balane tave ka to control na me wali mo so biological pest control biological pest control ලංකා වෙනන් ඩෙංගු කන්ට්‍රෝල් කරන්න බැරි වුණා BTI බැක්ටීරියා වලින් නමුත් කෙනියා වගේ කන්ට්‍රීස් වල කම්ප්ලීට්ලි ඉරඩිකේට් කරලා තියෙනවා ඔය BTI බැක්ටීරියා වලින් ෆ්ලයිට්ස් වලින් ඇවිල්ලා ලංකාවෙත් උඩින් අර පොඩි ෆ්ලයිට්ස් ඉන්නේ ඩ්‍රෝන්ස් වගේ වා ඒ වගේ ඇවිල්ලා මේක ටවුන්ස් වලට ඉස්සම BTI නමුත් හරි ගියේ නැහැ ඒ බැක්ටීරියාව අර මදුරු වගේ ඊඩිස් මදුරු වගේ ඇඟ ඇතුළට ගිහිල්ලා පොබුරනවා දොරේ මදුර විනාශ වෙනවා. ඒක තමයි පෙස් කන්ට්‍රෝල් දෙන්නේ. ලංකාවේ එක සක්සස් වුණ නැහැ මොකක් කෝ හේතුවකට. ඒක නිසානේ තාමත් ඩෙංගු තියෙන. තාමත් ඩෙංගු ඩෙත් මරණ තියෙන. වෙන රටවල ඩෙංගු මරණ නැහැ. ඒවන ඒගොල්ලෝ ඒවා ඉරඩිකේට් කරලා තියෙන්නේ. තුරන් කරලා තියෙන්නේ. right those are the beneficial effects of microbes microbes means all groups of microbes even the uh, viruses used making vaccines we can't neglect virus to virus kill a hacker than the bag go long a vaccine had a lucky like you need it again a hammer work at mother we know a bit of microbes la me me they were alert so next week we will learn the non beneficial effects or harmful effects of microbes api labas ekena ganna harmful effects monada kiyala ahita kara dewal then uh, when you come on next week get ready for a small paper from the first unit because i will finish this first topic within 40 minutes ma vinadi hatalihin paadam ivara karana labas ke small part is remain then a paper will be given for the online students that paper will be sent 
to your WhatsApp group. Do not look at the books. I want to know how much you gain from this first unit. Mata dana ganno no gullo me paloni paade me kochchak mata ke tiya gatta the kiela. So be ready to uh, test paper. Unit exams will be given since this year, since this term. Me term me kine dala mama deno a unit exams. Kochchak pahuna unit exams deno mama. Ready when no na theer naad. Unit exam can uh, an exam done after one unit, maybe uh, after one month, maybe after two weeks, maybe after one and a half months. Anyhow, just after finishing a unit, complete unit, a paper will be given. Okay, it will be helpful for you for your term test. Okay, then until goodbye and thank you for watching and participating.